I'm going to show you how to do the Sitsum Shrine on Death Mountain and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So this shrine's over here, literally like up on top of Death Mountain, just off the side of it right here. The Sitsum Shrine. I'm going to walk you through this, the puzzles in this shrine. So this one's also called a controlling device. And this is one of the puzzles where you actually get to use uh, devices. So you come in and there's all these little cars here. You're going to get on this one. If you hold forward, it'll go faster. So in order to get the chest, uh, you get up to this weird intersection. And to get the chest, you're going to go over here to the right. So over here is a ball. We're going to stop in range of it. And we're going to grab it, hold down the D-pad to bring it to us, and then attach it to the car. And we're going to back up. And we're going to back up like this. And then turn this way. Stopping like this for a reason because I'm about to go afterwards. So I'm going to take the ball and shake it loose. Bring it over here. Put it in that hole. That'll open up that gate so you can get to that chest. So we'll go in here and grab this. The chest has a mighty construct bow. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, so now we're going to get back on the cart. Alright, so now we're going to go over here and there's all these flying devices. So, what we're, we're going to do now is we're going to take that steering, uh, steering whatever control thing off of that and put it on one of the flyers. Now, if you want, you could attach the fans from the other ones to this one to make a super flyer. Just because this is your one chance to do it where it doesn't use power. Because inside of the puzzles, there's no power usage in the fans. And I did that before when I tested this puzzle before making the video. And it was honestly really funny to do that. Then you could just, like, fly straight up and stuff without losing, you know, thrust. So that was, that was fun. You could do that just for fun. Just to see what it feels like. So, then after that, you're going to fly down here. And you're going to get off of the uh, the wing, and you're going to go over here to the end, and you're done. So that's it, guys. If you need help with the Death Shrine puzzle, um, that's how to do this puzzle. The reward's the same as anything else, just a light of blessing. But yeah, now you know how to do that shrine in The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom.